So let's try this reaction. Let's decide what would happen first here. Yeah, we haven't really added any acid or base here. These are basically neutral conditions, for the most part. That's the case for adding solid and neutral? Or they uh, for this particular neutral? reaction, I don't think we need any, uh, any uh, extra acid or base. Let me get cut up to you, and I think we'll see what's going on here. So I think we all got to this step over here. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to start with any protonations or uh, protonations here because I didn't really add any acid uh, in this case. I don't even know if I really need the heat here. So, uh, so that gives us to here. Now, are there any logical protonations or deprotonations that we would have to do at this point? Yeah, who, who here really needs to deprotonate? Yeah, our nucleophile definitely needs to deprotonate, right? Um, we don't want to leave this positive charge on this nucleophile over here. And is there anybody who would, it would be helpful to put a proton on? It would be helpful to put this proton over here. So this would be another good case for doing a proton transfer. Um, the important thing to see here is how similar this is to the previous reactions. Again, it's important to see that these are all following the same basic pattern of attack the carbonyl and reform the carbonyl. And the tricky thing is, again, figuring out if that we need any protonations or deprotonations uh, in the meantime. Uh, well, we didn't start with any protonations here because I didn't really add any acid. Uh, but it makes st sense of this step again. Remember, you're always supposed to focus on the charges. Well, this nucleophile just gained a positive charge. So we know we're going to have to get rid of that positive charge eventually. We might as well do that by protonating this and making it into a better leaving group. Since one of the very first things you should have done here is say to yourself, aha, this is going to leave eventually. It's always good to identify the L group up front. We know this is one of our reactions where uh, we have an L group that's going to leave. Well, it certainly helps to make it into a better leaving group at this point. Uh, so we might as well uh, do that. So we don't want to kick it off originally because OET minus, it wouldn't make sense even in neutral conditions to have. Um, it, it might happen, but uh, it's easier if it's got a proton on it, basically. And after all, we have to get rid of this proton on this nitrogen anyway. Um, so uh, we might as well show the most favorable way for the reaction to happen. If there's an easy way to protonate this, uh, it wants to do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so we might as well go ahead and do that here. Um, what type of functional group do we have here? Yeah, this is an amide. I said earlier, these don't have to both be hydrogens. Here we have an amide that's connected to a carbon chain. If I was going to write this out more, it would look like this. Here's the amide that we produced, the nitrogen with this carbon chain on it uh, over here. We also produced uh, this alcohol. Uh, we're still going down the chart, which is what we usually do here. So we're not surprised that we're able to go down the chart and produce uh, this amide. And is the amine uh, NH2, is that an amine? 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 Yeah, 
That's an Emmy. Remember, anytime we have a regular carbon chain on the nitrogen, that's an amine. And when you have a carbonyl carbon on the nitrogen, that's an amide. So yeah, that's quite important. If this was a synthesis problem, um, your instructor thinks that it should be obvious how to synthesize this. So this is a synthesis problem. How would you synthesize this? Well, you would say to yourself, gee, this is at the bottom of this table. So I want to start with one of these things from up above. Any of these things from up above, it would be easiest to start up here, if you could. Start up here, because these are the most reactive. And what do we want to have attack these? to make this amide, an amine. And even if you've never heard the word amine before, you should see it, still be able to see the structure of what's attacking. We need something that's going to form this bond over here. The one tricky thing is remember that before it attacks, it has one more hydrogen than after it attacks. Before this attack, so if you're doing a synthesis, you would have to start the synthesis with two hydrogens on the nitrogen, because it ends up deprotonating eventually. So that's again a very standard type of synthesis problem. And then do amides do some kind of reaction? Sure. So, well, they could do hydrolyses. Um, so, uh, one thing that a amine would do is uh, a hydrolysis reaction. Um, now, most of the other reactions that these guys do, amines, amides don't do. Because remember, we can go from up to down, but we can't go from down to up. So, you would not, for example, normally. You said they wouldn't do something. They would not. not yeah. They, they, um, so most of these reactions we've talked about wouldn't work for an amide. They'll, um, they'll do a hydrolysis, but they won't do pretty much anything else we've seen. You can't just say take an alcohol and attack this, because that would be moving from lower to, to higher up here. And usually you can't do that in the chart. You move from above to below, not from below to above. So 